Hi, I'm Andre Turan, and welcome to part two of The Circuit of Life. Yesterday I gave the introduction, which laid out the moves as they are in their final form. Today I'm going to present modifications. I have people who are in their 20s, I have people in their 80s, I have beginners, I have advanced people. All levels can do The Circuit of Life. And yes, we do it as a fitness challenge as well. I have fitness competitions out there. I call them Power Fitness Championships, where we do the Circuit of Life and other programs as well in these championships. And it's a lot of fun. Uh, it's fun competition. It's friendly competition. And it's an amazing way to stay fit, get fit, and stay fit. Um, I'll be talking about that in future videos on the Circuit of Life and other programs too. Um, in the next part, part three, I will be explaining how you could put these programs together, the circuit of life, so that it's an overarching, calorie burning, growth hormone producing, strength enhancing, um, amazing routine for shaping and toning the body beyond just these forms. So yesterday I laid, laid down the basic forms, today the modifications, and in the next program I'm going to lay out how you put the whole thing together. So that said, let's get to the modifications. Okay, so we start off with the plie squats. Same thing here, but if you want to have somewhat of a modified version of it, you just go a little bit narrow with narrower with your feet if you don't have the flexibility. And you're still trying to squeeze those feet together and get the inner thighs flexing. Palms are pressing together isometrically, so you're flexing the upper body. So here are modifications for the burpee. You can use chairs. I'll show you some other modification later as well. And you don't have to do a full push-up. Just go down a quarter. And you don't have to do the jump at the top either. Right? I'm only giving three as an example here. So you put your hands on the chairs, throw your feet back. You always want to get your weight over your palms before you throw those feet back. And that's the burpee. Now we're going to go a little bit deeper. So you can always, as you get stronger with it, you do the same form, but you go deeper. Later I'll show you a version where it will go down on the floor. And that's probably the next level. Some people prefer that actually as more of a beginner version. You can play with it. Now we go to the grasshopper push-up. Make sure your wrists are warmed up, palms turned back. You just put your palms on the edge of the chairs, turn backwards. And see, I have the chairs spread apart, so I can. there's some space in between if you want to go that deep. The triangle push-up, you go to one chair, because you want to have your hands close together for this. This is working triceps, back muscles, everything's getting the core. And mountain climbers on an angle. See, it's a totally modifiable program. All levels can do this as long as you don't have any prior injury. This is the plank T. Make sure the chairs are as wide as you feel comfortable with. Your fingertips are pointing out and you're at a high angle here. So it's a great way to phase yourself into it. By the way, you can always build uh, or, or find chairs that are closer to the ground and that's your way of progressing this. This is instead of the TV, you're actually helping yourself to sit up, pushing yourself up, going back on your elbows, bringing the knees to the chest. You can do this sitting on a chair as well. Then we have side sit-ups, but we're only lifting the top leg. I'm only going to give you one side of this today. Of course, we do both sides. So there you go. You're pushing yourself up as high as you can sit up. And then the bicycle. Now here you can make it easier by pushing your feet up toward the ceiling. It's more challenging if your feet are lower to the ground like that. So it's easier with your feet up. That would be the modification. And then finally, you can end with squats instead of squat jumps. So you don't have to have the impact in there or do a little bit of a squat with a little bit of a jump and don't go as deep in the squat. And those are our modifications. So now I'm going to show you some modifications that are just on the floor. Okay, so here we are with the floor modifications. We start off with the burpee. What you want to do with this is, if you have a mat, your feet should be on the mat, and your arms should go out in front of you. 
That'll give you the right angle so when your knees land on the mat, you're set up for the perfect kneeling push-up. So that's the technique for that. Then we go into the grasshopper push-up. You can angle your hands out. That's a great modification so your fingertips are pointing out if you cannot turn your wrists all the way back. That's your modification and you're doing it kneeling at the same time so it's less forced. Of course you can turn your hands all the way back and still do kneeling push-ups in the grasshopper position. Grasshopper is powerful, works biceps, deltoids, core. Next is the triangle push-up. You could go a little bit wider if it's too hard to go narrow and that triangle or diamond goes right to your upper abs. This way you're getting a lot more tricep, back muscles as well. Mountain climbers, shoulders over the palms. Just uh, limit your range of motion. Okay, those are the modifications. If you haven't looked at part one, take a look at part one so you see the finished version and look for part three which is going to show you how to put the whole program together.